Hello and happy Wednesday. I'm Jeannie Hankins. And I'm Jackie Miller. And we're here, the crew from the Wickenburg Sun. We just wanted to take a little time to say th happy Thanksgiving on this eve of the holiday and give you a little preview of what's in the paper today if you haven't seen it yet. And we have some exciting news about the Wickenburg Wranglers football team. And here is how it goes in the paper this week. First it was the offense, then it was the defense, then there were a bunch of penalties, then it was the defense again, and finally it was the offense. But ultimately, it was the defense. And that's how it went for the Wickenburg Wranglers up at Blue Ridge last Friday night when they won, and they are still in the playoff action, and they will be down in Tucson Friday night at 7 p.m., and we'll be covering that for you. So keep an eye on the Facebook page during the game. Yeah, it was really an exciting game. Some of those highlights that I was getting to watch from parent videos were really, really exciting and uh, seemed like the Wranglers really showed up to play a great game and it'll be exciting to cheer them on down in Tucson. So Well, we're going to wish them the best and then the next day, Saturday, will be Small Business Saturday. Yes, yeah, Small Business Saturday. It's a great time to remember to go out and shop local with our Wickenburg shops, uh, not only in the downtown area, but up Wickenburg Way. There's certainly um, a wide range of unique places to shop with uh, great gift ideas um, for kids, parents, adults, really uh, bringing home Wickenburg gifts is going to be unique and really special to folks and keeps you out of the crowd and out of the COVID mess that's yeah. down in Phoenix. Yes. <laughs> Even before we had COVID, I loved doing my Christmas shopping here in Wickenburg and got just about everything marked off my list just by a quick trip around town. And so I'll definitely be doing that again this year. Yep. <laughs> Save some time and not have to fight the traffic. So yeah, that'll sure. be really nice. So also in the paper this week, we have had a lot of stories about local people lately, thanks to our great news staff, Scott Turner and Amber Neat, and a couple more um, nice stories this week about local folks. One of them is about Logan Jones, who started his own business, a teenager here in town, who started his own landscaping business while he was out of school during the COVID crisis. And so uh, that's one good read and then also we have a man on the street with 14 different people from Wickenburg telling us what they're thankful for during yep. this holiday season. Yeah it's a special season and definitely one to keep your loved ones near and be thankful for uh, the wonderful life that we get to live and hopefully we'll have a great holiday season and yes yes we have a, a we have a special section coming out in next week's paper uh, featuring a lot of the local shops and some good recipe ideas and things like that for the Christmas season. So as soon as Thanksgiving's over, boy, it's time to turn those lights on. Yep, yep. <laughs> the shops are full of Christmas gifts, so it's about time for us too. So. And here we are with the community Christmas tree. That'll be lit up before we know it, and uh, we'll be right into the Christmas season. So, But for now, happy Thanksgiving. We hope you have a great weekend. Good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.